Hello and welcome to your art lesson. So today we're going to look at some basic drawing techniques before I share a link with you for another Draw with Rob. But first, we're going to look at some famous art by an artist called Monet. It was famous for their Impressionism style of art. So I'm going to show you three paintings by Monet and do a little bit of information about them. So this is Monet's drawing called Impression Sunrise from 1872. And this is his painting, sorry, not drawing, his painting of the port of Le Havre, which was his hometown in Normandy. This pitch here, which is, I mean, they're all fantastic. I particularly like this one because you see all the amazing detail on the brush strokes. So he mostly painted landscapes, but would also every now and again paint people. So this is a picture of his wife, Camille, and his son, Jean. So here we have an example of some portraits of some people, but mostly concentrated on landscapes. And his most famous paintings of all, and what he is renowned for, are his paintings of his water lilies in his Japanese garden and this is one of the many that he painted over the 40 years that he painted these water lilies so you could do some research and find some other paintings of Monet and see which one you like the best. There's so many different amazing paintings out there that he did. Okay, so I'm just going to point you out to a couple of tutorials now. This one here goes through outlines, edges and shading. So it goes through different ways of holding your pencil to help you achieve those things. And it's a really, really good tutorial just to help you with the basics of drawing. And once you've mastered the basics, just like with every subject that we do, once you've got those, then you can really move on and get much, much better with all your drawing and feel much more confident in doing it and showing different levels of light and shadow in your work. So if you follow that link, which once again, I'll link in the assignment, then you can practice your outlines, edges and shading and how to hold your pencil. So I know how much you have enjoyed Draw with Rob. And a few of you have asked for more of these. So here is another one of his tutorials. And there is the picture that he produces at the end of it. So maybe you could try some of the techniques that you learn with holding your pencil in the last tutorial to help you with drawing this. As you know, Rob draws it through step by step. And I'll give you lots of advice as he goes through there. So if you follow the link, which you want to again be in the activity, then you can produce your very own dolphin. I wonder if you will use the same colours as Rob. Thank you very much for listening. And I'm really excited to see what pictures you produce. And if you have any pictures of you drawing those or so you could do step by step. You could do one just after you've started, one in the middle and one at the end of you holding it up. Or you could just send a picture through of your creation when you finish. But we really look forward to seeing what you do create. Thank you for listening.